G'day, it's Saturday. Let's do the photos of the week. Okay, so we started off the week, I went down to Macra Beach to film a video. And while I was down there, I grabbed some shots of these seagulls and oyster catchers. And uh, it was pretty cool down there because there was no wind. And usually the wind is just pumping in down at Macra. So it's pretty sweet as. To get a morning where it was quite still and get some shots of these birds here. And here's the whole crew, the whole gang, just hanging out. And uh, oh, we're ripping through this morning. This one here is of a hawk, a harrier hawk, kahu. And I actually captured this out of the passenger window of the car while I was driving down along beside this thing, flying through the air. Yeah, so I was stoked to get that shot. It's not very sharp though. And this one here, just some cool trees. What sort of trees are those? I'm pretty sure I know, is that willow or something like that? Or am I on the wrong track? I got no idea. And then just a shot in the city here. I don't even know what this square is called, but it's right next to Fairipo Lagoon, next to the Fariwaka. And then this is just a snapshot of these kids with their dog. But it's quite cool to get a shot like that when they don't know the camera's there and just a real natural, easy going shot. And then this is just the storefront in town. I can't even remember the name of the store, but it's up Cuba Street. And then just a couple of street portraits. Oh, I recognize that guy. And then the wife, Mrs. Bells. <laughs> these photos are actually from a while ago. I just chucked them in here for fun. And then we had a massive uh, rainstorm in the middle of the day the other day, so I shot outside and grabbed these green stone leaf photos. Man, I was stoked to get these photos because I guess they're kind of plain, but it's also really cool just to see the detail of the raindrops on the leaves. And it's quite challenging still because the leaves are moving in the breeze and you're trying to like get them really, really steady. And of course, the closer you get to the leaves to focus, the more dramatic any minor movement is. So. It actually takes a bit of work to get these shots. You know, you should see the hundred odd on my camera that are completely out of focus. But it's so cool to be able to see the detail. And then we've got a couple of poppies in the garden as well. Don't be coming around with your razor blades and whatever else you need. I don't even know if they're the right poppies, but we've got poppies in the garden. And I took a photo of a couple of them here after the same rainstorm. And just before we wind up, I want to show you these photos here. I didn't take these photos. They're taken by a guy called Tobias Baumgartner. And he actually won an award from the Oceanographics magazine Ocean Awards in 2020. Apparently the story goes that the lighter penguin was an elderly female whose partner had died previously. And the darker one was a younger male who lost his partner a couple of years ago. And every night they would meet up at the spot here and look at the city lights and look down at the ocean. And that Tobias won the award for him, has done a magical job here getting these photos. So that's what sort of keeps me motivated in photography. And while I'm still doing these damn photos of the week, to see one week, I might just get something that's real magic. Who knows? And hey, before we go, I want to leave you with this clip. I had to change the music on it, otherwise I'll get copyrighted. But it was my mate and colleague's birthday. Woody, happy birthday, man. And I made him this quick video to say happy birthday. So we'll leave you with this. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ha! <laughs>